He's about to drag her ass out of this house. Like a sack of potatoes. If she doesn't listen to him. <laughs> he said, try me. I would try. <laughs> Good morning. I have about 15 pages left of Babel. And I think I'm gonna finish it out on the audiobook because I just need to hear the narrator. It is so fucking sad. And I mean so fucking sad. I was planning on vlogging me reading this book last night. I was on page, I think I started around book five. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna vlog me reading. And then I couldn't get my emotions together. And so I just listened to the audiobook and stared at the wall. But I listened to the audiobook on my glasses. Guys, I made a really impulsive decision last week. I saw one of my mutuals on Instagram get the Ray-Ban glasses that record. So I got the Ray-Ban glasses that record. Merry Christmas to me, I guess. I'm honestly debating returning them because I don't even know if I like them. And now I'm feeling kind of stressed out about spending this much money on a pair of glasses because I'm like, do I even like you? I have no idea. Anyways, I didn't know though that you could listen to music while they're on and it plays music like out of right here. So I was listening to Babel last night while I reorganized my bookshelf because I was like I need to do something that's going to keep me sane and I can't go for a walk because it's too freaking cold. So she is beauty, she is grace. She is almost redone except for the fact that I have a stack of books sitting down here because I don't know where to put them yet. What the fuck? Rude! I feel like I need to put this book on display or something. I should also probably move my camera up a little bit. I feel like I need to put this book on display or something, but it's too thick to actually put on display. Oh! Okay, it's a little thick. Just a tab. I loved it. Five star book for me. I'm also a big Dark Academia fan, so if you're not, I have a feeling you will hate this book and you will be so incredibly bored. I've mentioned before it's dense. It's also kind of heavy. There's cat hair on my lip. The ending of this just honestly kind of ruined me. Oh my god, the more I think about it, the more I'm like sick to my stomach. <gasps> 10 out of 10 recommend, but do be prepared. It's not escapism at all. That's primarily why I read is simply for escapism. This is not, not it in the slightest. Look at this. Okay, so I made this little shelf yesterday. Anytime I'm overwhelmed, I redecorate my bookshelf. I have this little setup. I have to put these out of order. I don't even have all the books. Also, the Addicted series is now free on Kindle Unlimited. That's amazing for you guys. However, I bought these books this past summer. So I bought them on Kindle, I mean. So wish I wouldn't have done that, but that's fine. These four are uh, published through Berkeley. This is the indie version, so it's huge. This is like the third book in the series, but I have to put it down there. It's fine, it's whatever. What's frustrating is the rest of these are published by Berkeley. This one in the middle here has a different Berkeley emblem. What's the right word for that? I don't know. It doesn't really bother me that much because I don't, I don't pay attention to that much, but it's just kind of like, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, why the fuck did you guys do that? There's never a need for two epilogues. <laughs> Very rarely is there a need for two epilogues. I don't think this book needed to be as long as it was. It was fun. I was kind of over it by like page 400. It was like 430 pages. I think if Lauren Blakely would have shortened this book to like 375 pages and not 430, I would have given it 3.5 stars. I'm gonna give it like 3.25. I really enjoyed the first 350 pages. Also had the FMC not used the phrase my pets as like a term of endearment for her friends. Probably would have bumped it up a little bit more. I had to overlook that one, but it was a fun read. I liked like the taboo this is that the right way to say it of it like ex-boyfriend's dad i really honestly i enjoyed it i thought it was a lot of fun I'm ready to move on though <laughs> i don't know if i want to read stay with me right now or if i want to start a new book and read stay with me a little bit later i've been bouncing between these three books for what feels like weeks Really, it's just been like a week and a half, except for Babel. I've been bouncing back and forth to reading, or was bouncing back and forth to read that book for the past like three weeks. I just want something fresh and new. 
I think. This was awful. Kodak, Kodak sent me this camera a couple weeks ago. This is the picture I just took on accident. My first pic. It's making another. I was trying to figure out if I needed to hold the button down or just click it. Turns out you just need to click it. New hinge pick. Phineas, come here. Stay. Stay there. Ah, oh, damn it. You looked away. Ow! You're stuck. Oh, Ow! Oh, God. This is what I got. I kind of love this. Oh my gosh, I can make like a scrapbook with this. That would actually be a really great idea. I don't want to read Stay With Me right now. I want to read something on my Kindle. But I've been looking on TikTok and Instagram for the past 30 minutes trying to find like an out of context quote because I want to feel like that high and I don't know what to read. I want to read something where the MMC is obsessed with the FMC. I'm going to look for a little bit longer. I, pr I probably should just look at my TBR first, but I want something brutally unhinged and I don't really have anything well, not brutally unhinged. I would love to read something like Butcher and Blackbird, but I know I'm not going to find anything like that. I'm gonna go look on Instagram and TikTok for a while. Maybe I'll look on Kindle Unlimited too. I guess I could go through all of this. I do have an unhinged book downloaded on my Kindle right now. It's called Hitched. And it's this girl who picks up a hitchhiker and then they fall in love in like two days. Should I start that? How many pages is this? That's a little, that's a little far. That's very unhinged. I don't think I am wanting to go that far at the moment. Hitched, it's only 258 pages. Hitched is a dark gray hitchhiker romance. Oh, so it's not completely dark, just dark gray. The rabbit foot sway in the car, a bad omen that I choose to ignore. Her innocent face and offer for a ride are too tempting. Little does she know I'm a dangerous man on the run, a sociopath with a thirst for the thrill of a hunt. Selena is my rabbit and I'm about to ensnare her in my trap. As we speed towards the border, emotions I thought I was incapable of stir within me. Another sociopath romance? Is that what I'm about to get myself into? But danger lurks around every turn, and as the stakes rise with, with each passing moment, what will happen when we reach our destination? Will I let her go or will I keep her by my side forever? The game has just begun. It has 3.6 stars. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna read it. Every single one of my friend's readings are like two stars and one stars and most of them just say it's unnecessary spice which I I haven't been in the mood I can't do unnecessary spice at the moment I like I like spice but when it's like just a necessary continual I also need an emotional tie to the characters <laughs> okay everyone I found the book that I'm gonna read it's called between love and loathing this person on tiktok named Hillary posted about it it is free on kindle unlimited oh no I should probably read the first one. Should I start with the first one, Between Commitment and Betrayal, or go straight to the second one? Oh, the third one comes out March 26th. You know what? We're just gonna start with the first one. Let's read what it's about. Between Commitment and Betrayal. Retired NFL player. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna download the first book. It sounds good. I have to re This is the worst shit when it's like return a book so that you can read it. I can return the tryst because I finished that. It only took me an hour to figure out what book I was going to read. This man's name is Declan and he has dark hair and green eyes. Consider me sold. <laughs> oh my god. First chapter done. And oh my god. The main characters were just bickering the entire time. It just jumped straight into it. They were just at each other's throats. And I'm here for it. <laughs> He's about to drag her ass out of this house. Like a sack of potatoes. If she doesn't listen to him. He said, try me. I would try. <laughs> He's such an asshole. <laughs> I... I'm literally on chapter three. Ah, this man is obsessed. Obsessed from the start. And you know what? He's not handling it well at all. All he's doing is screaming at her, but in a hot way. So many things throughout the beginning of this book 
have just been jaw-dropping situations. Like, I think my jaw has just, like, ten times now. Oh my god, he doesn't believe her that she knows self-defense. He doesn't believe her. So she shows him. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> this book is kind of addicting. <laughs> I'm on chapter nine. It's a marriage of convenience book. And reading the first few chapters, I was like, where's the marriage of convenience gonna come in? And then it came in more like snormed the fucking building. It's just keeping my jaw dropped. Like it, it's truly one of those books where some of the things this MMC does and some of his inner monologue, I'm like, oh my god, if I ever met a man like that in real life, I would probably have to punch him. I'd have to punch him. Or I'd have to just like sprint away. But reading it, I'm like, he's hot. I love him. It's giving dark romance, but it's really not dark. You know the way a mafia book is like addicting? That's kind of how it is so far. Declan co-owns a gym and hotels and a bunch of other things with I think it's Evie or Everly I think it's Everly with Everly's dad Everly is estranged from her dad he left her life when she was six he always sent money and all this but he kind of had this sec second family I don't know if we like him or not yet like he seems like he cares but also at the same time I'm like you you left your family anyway she comes and works for her dad in the town that he lives in and Declan again co-owns where she's working with her dad. He's 10 years older. He's an ex-NFL player. He is bossy as hell. This man says things like, you know in a marriage the spouse comes first. Technically my wife comes first. You have something you need to discuss. I'll push a meeting. All they've been is cordial in their marriage of convenience. But he makes these like small comments of like, if my wife needs it, I'll do it.